Hello everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. My name is Sam and today, no this is not a talk show, I just wanted to sit down for this, okay? Today we are going to be recreating some photos from my childhood. Now this is heavily inspired by this trend that I've seen on the internet for a very long time and I always click on these videos because I think it's so fascinating to see like what the person looked like as a kid versus as an adult and I, I don't know, I find it very fascinating and hopefully you do too because that's what we're doing today. I've picked out three photos that I've recently found due to going through old family photos. They are up here on the wall behind me. We are gonna start with this one over here. I am so happy because some of these are very like fall slash Halloween themed and I cannot wait to recreate them and get people's opinions on them as well on like how well we did with the recreation. Now of course we're gonna have to go to Target to get some specific things. I don't have any Barbies anymore. Also this photo is hysterical. I know you can't really see them right now but I'll give you a closer look. Here is a closer look at the first photo we are recreating. Me, a child, enjoying the fall season apparently because I am munching on a caramel apple. This is such a fall like mood picture. So ready to recreate it. Now we need to prep. So let's go to Target. Hi, we're here at Target. I'm in the Barbie section now and I didn't think I was going to find this. But look, we have our pink Barbie convertible and it's also the last one. That's perfect. When I was a kid, I felt like Barbies were super expensive. It's $8. I'm going up to the Halloween section now. I think this is what we're gonna work with. So of course, for this first one, we need a brown sweater, a caramel apple, and bangs. Those are the three things we really need to make sure we have for this. So this isn't prepped yet, but I have an apple and some caramel, but it's not a perfect caramel apple, obviously, because I'm like almost done with it here. So we need to cut this up a little bit, eat some of it, and then cover it in caramel, I think. I'm gonna take this off. So we can have it closer as a reference. I'm gonna put it down here. I haven't had a caramel apple in a very long time. I don't know why. They're great to have. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to kind of cut chunks of this off. Ugh. 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 I'm so happy I'm finally doing this video. I've had the idea for a little Ugh. bit but like now I have these fall photos, so I have like an actual excuse to make it cause it's the season. Okay, that's pretty good. Like I feel like I just need to like eat it now. Mm. To get those like bite marks and everything. Okay, see you soon guys. Oh, it's in my teeth. I think I got a good amount. I also realized I was doing like adult sized bites. I forgot that I was a child in this photo, which is why it looks like there's still so much on it. This is why I feel like I don't eat apples all that much anymore. Cause I hate how the skin just gets stuck in my teeth. It's time to cover the skin in caramel. It truly just feels like icing a cake. I've never made a caramel apple this way before. Just like plopping it on and literally icing it like a cake. But I think it's working very well for this intended purpose. I can't imagine someone like actually doing this to an entire apple, but like we're doing pretty good. In this photo here, like the main part that's caramel is where my hand is. So can't wait for that to get messy. And then there's just a little bit on the top. I don't know how concerned I'm gonna be with getting getting it on the top, but I do have this floral foam, so I might as well like stand it up. There we go. And I'll just add a little bit on the top just for consistency. All right, I'm sure this is more than enough. So the first prop is done. It is time for me to get the sweater that I got at Target. So this sweater was the closest thing I could find to the one I'm wearing in this. I could not find the material that the sweater is made out of in this photo anywhere. I feel like it was really, really big in the 90s, which is probably why I was wearing it. But I found this simple brown cardigan anyways, and I am just going to fake button it up because I could not find find a solid brown cardigan with buttons on it either. I guess it's just not popular anymore. I'm gonna keep this on underneath it because it looks like I am wearing like some sort of white shirt underneath this. So we have the sweater. I have my little sleeve rolled. Wait, is this the right one? But the other thing you'll probably notice about this photo is my hair is one blonde and also I have bangs. I don't have 
a good wig for this. So I'm gonna leave my hair brown, but I'm gonna give myself bangs. I'm not gonna cut my hair. I'm going to try to give myself mock bangs. This sweater is so hot right now, wow. I'm gonna do that by kind of like getting rid of my part and then taking kind of a front section of hair. My hair isn't like evenly cut at the ends really, so I can't like pin it like this per se. <laughs> I have to brush it out. But that's essentially what we're gonna do to give myself bangs for this photo. So my plan's not working, if you can't, you know, tell. So there's that. Yeah, they're just, it's just my, my hair, the ends of my hair doesn't really work here. But other than that, I think I got it. It's just gonna take some trial and error. So I'm gonna sit right here and take these with a self timer and see what happens. Okay, I just recruited CJ for a little bit because it was impossible to get my camera to focus on self timer. But I'm about to pop the photos in the computer and see how they turned out and see which ones kind of like match the angles and everything the best. Okay guys, I think this is the one. We obviously still have a little bit to Photoshop. Like the angle is a little off. Yeah, I think it's the best it's gonna be, but we need to Photoshop it. I just finished Photoshopping the photo into the original background. I am still gonna do some more editing to make it look more like grainy and like on film, but you guys will see the final, final result in the end when I reveal all of the photos. So it is now time for look number two. It's Halloween time. Actually, apparently this photo was taken the day after Christmas when I was two years old. I don't know why I was dressed as a lion the day after Christmas. Maybe, you know, I don't know. But we are gonna recreate this awkwardness. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh man, this one's, this one's good. This one's really good. I am really excited to recreate this one. The main things I need to get right for this are the smile, the eyes, and then the awkward hands. Okay, I'm looking at them now, and I think we have two options. I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Maybe that one, I really don't know. But also, this is just making me realize like how youthful my skin was here. Cause I'm like, I kind of look like I'm dying and running on four hours hours of sleep here, but you know what? That's what we call growing up. <laughs> All right, we have two down, one more to go. This is one of my favorite childhood photos of me. I just think it is so funny. Like was clearly just having so much fun playing with my Barbie and the classic pink convertible that I just passed out, but wanted to make sure no one else played with it. I cannot deal with this. So for this one, I of course need to be wearing a red sweatshirt. I have my red on. I got this like red sweater dress thing cause I couldn't find like a romper or a onesie, but we have the red set. Like this part is the only part that's gonna be like in the photo. So I think we're good. We got a pink convertible and we of course needed a blonde messy hair Barbie for this photo. So we got Barbie fashionistas and we are going to unbox this and see what happens. I truly don't remember the last time I played with a Barbie doll. I was definitely a fan, but just don't remember like when that phase ended for me. Maybe it never did. <laughs> I do remember the packages being ridiculously hard to open though. Okay, well, we already made her hair messy, so that's something. Time for the car. Oh, this is sick. She is ready. I think this one's gonna be pretty simple. I need someone to take the photo. The thing that I'm realizing that is kind of difficult about these photos and like getting them right is that like all of my body proportions are different. I am no longer a child. I am 5'9". <laughs> we'll see what the perspective looks like on this one because obviously my arm is not gonna be like that close to my face and the car is not gonna look as big. We'll figure it out. That's what I'm learning is hard about like recreating these photos. Okay, I really like how this one turned out. I still need to edit it and everything, but like, I think we're gonna have some pretty good ones to show people. So I'm gonna finish editing them and then we'll of course show you all the final edits. I don't know why I just clicked. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Hey Patrick, remember that photo you took of me yesterday? Also guys, don't be surprised that it's a new day. It's me, what else is new? So this is the one. Oh! <laughs> How do you think it turned out? Um, that's 
that's the best one. But I love these actually. Yeah. Okay, who took which one? My mom or my dad probably took this no, one. No, I oh, took that one. You no. Nope. Uh, I did. You were not there on December 26th of 2001. You, don't know. you were obviously a child. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the one that you took. Could have done better. Could have done better. Not. But I love this face of yours just in general. Thanks. Like Appreciate that it. should be a Honestly, picture. the hands, the hands are so good. Whoever took this one is trash. I just have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be perfect for that. No, that's actually really good. Yeah, this one is one of my favorites. Obviously, my arm is no longer can smaller we, than the car. Can we talk about the angle of the car? These match. This that's from really good. Angle than this one. All right, so let's talk about this one because uh -huh. I feel like this one's pretty good. Okay, yeah, so the angle is slightly off, but like I really thought that that was the one that people were gonna like. Your eyes are way too uh, wide in wide. this. The angle is off completely. The middle, the middle one is the best taken. This one is the best look. Wow. Thanks for the apt analysis. So I definitely see some points and areas that I could have improved. Looking at this one now, the angle, like I should be tilting my head more and like you can't see my fingers. So that was an oversight, but I'm still pretty proud of the fact that I like photoshopped in the background and made that caramel apple. I'm okay with that one. This one I think is probably the best or just like most accurate considering you can tell that I am now an adult and my hand and is no longer the size of the wheel. You know, you can tell I'm an adult and so the proportions are different. This one was really fun, but yeah, I didn't get the smile right. I look very scared, but you know what? I feel like for all intents and purposes, this was a pretty good job considering this was my first time like recreating any kind of photo of myself as a child. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little experience as much as I did. It was really fun to like push my limits to see how well I could recreate a photo and I know some of the angles were off but I think it did a relatively good job so I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe as always and I will see you all in the next video bye